Hi, I'm Nick Thomas and welcome back to the Academy of Historical Fencing. So javelins as a thrown weapon. So what you're seeing here today is just a really fun, short experiment that we did using the thrown weapons in close combat. Now why? Well the simple reason is that um, javelins, spears, partisans and various other weapons were at times used as thrown weapons. And we think of these large weapons as being thrown from a distance, which is certainly, you know, common and true. But in fact, thrown weapons were, even of this size, were often thrown at close range as well. And there might be all kinds of reasons why you do that. But let's just jump in. So the experiment, javelin versus dagger, and then we had a shield in later. Why dagger? It was to hand, it was fun, but it also meant that we didn't have to use gloves when using the javelins, which um, the, the gloves can cause some issues with um, grip and also picking the javelin up from the ground can be fuzzy with heavy gloves. So we just went with it. <clears throat> with the dagger. It's just a fun experiment and there are other factors of course that should be in, in, included um, such as different kinds of armour, different kinds of shields and specifically backup weapons. Now for simplicity's sake we didn't give the javelin user a backup weapon so once they've lost the javelin they're done for okay they could in theory run away but as far as the exercise went we just rolled into the next one okay so it was all about just getting that javelin off because once it devolves into a knife fight sword fight whatever we do that all the time so it's just let's see how the javelin works reset afterwards okay well the first thing we found is that aiming for high targets was the easiest thing to avoid because ultimately in terms of body voids moving your head out of the way i mean it's a small target but also just in terms of pivoting and moving moving the high target areas out of the way is easier than any other and so when you aim for high targets with javelin it can actually be um, voided or dodged reasonably easily so what happens when you aim a little bit lower well it gets success And yet it is possible to still dodge under certain low-ish throws. But not always, as you can see here where Jordan dodges or tries to duck under a javelin throw. We also found that if you used aggressive footwork to pressure the opponent, you could stop them dodging and, and uh, avoiding quite so easily. How about when we add a shield then, even just this modest little shield. So this is a police riot shield. So this was an absolute game changer. The moment we added even this modest sized shield in, it was almost impossible to land a javelin. So you can see just how effective a shield would be against a javelin. That being said, of course, this is a one-on-one -on -one scenario. If you've got multiple javelins being thrown, well, it's not so easy to dodge, duck, duck dive, or uh, parry against a pile of javelins. And you notice even when I was um, trying to cast the uh, javelin around the side and trying to you know, work it around the shield, it still became really, really difficult. Could I have circled my opponent more and tried to work around him? To a degree, yes, but ultimately, as the uh, shield user, he can pivot and move actually much more easily than I can, making huge arcs around him. And also we had other people in the room that we had to be a bit cautious of, so we couldn't really throw the javelin certain directions for simple safety reasons. So what do we find out? Well, javelins are actually really, really fun and they can be really effective, which is no surprise because they were used extensively historically. Uh, we will do more tests where they've got different kinds of swords, different kinds of um, pole arms uh, and different shields, especially because that is quite a major factor going from bucklers to different sizes of shields. That'll be a really interesting test. Um, we'll also include backup weapons because that will change things for uh, potentially both users. Um, and we will also consider multiple javelins and also a mix of javelins and spears for the javelin thrower. Uh, so all of these factors are going to change things massively. So this video just includes just, you know, a basic, interesting, simple look at what a javelin could be like as a thrown weapon in a close-in fight. It's actually really, really fun. Obviously, if you're going to re replicate this, please be very careful because those javelins can go anywhere once they actually get thrown past a target or hit a target and ricochet up. So... Have a care.
Ultimately though, really, really fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already.